We're going to take a look at the Twilio integration with Bittrex 24 using webhooks. And in this example, what we're going to take a look at is using one of the channels that Twilio has to offer. So Twilio has the ability to create bots using programmable voice, messaging, chat for your website, Alexa, Google Assistant, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger and Slack. In today's session, we're going to take a look at how the programmable chat can allow you to book an appointment as an example. So the first area of Twilio that we'll be looking at is in the tasks side of the autopilot module. And as I mentioned, this session is going to have a look at the ability to book an appointment via a messaging system. So you can see here we have a task that has been created called book appointment time and date. And what we want to do with that task is actually train it to understand some of the terminology and phrases that a client potentially might use and then we can auto respond to that message. So let's click on train here. And then first of all, what you can see is that we have six samples of questions that a particular individual may ask via your messaging system. So we have a range here. It's quite easy to add a new sample. You can just enter it in the top here. We can add sample there. And you may see these tags inside each one of these samples. Now they include the fields that you can add into your task for your messaging system. So you can see if I scroll down a little bit more, we have the phone number, first name, time, and the date. So that is the information that we want to collect from your potential client when they're messaging you using your uh, messaging system. Furthermore, what we can do with these fields is we can send these fields via a webhook into Bittrex. So we might want to use these fields inside a new lead, or we might want to create a task inside Bittrex and input this set of data. So once you've created your fields, what you can do is then you can program this particular task in how you want to handle these fields. So if I switch to the program task in the top right hand corner of the screen here, you can see that we have a program of what the task does when it has been triggered. So you can see here, uh, we first of all, the person messages and asks for an appointment. Twilio will then ask for their name and populate the appointment name field with the first name. And then they ask what is the best number to reach one. And again, hopefully the client will respond and provide their number. So this is all about customizing your messaging process with your client and you can modify this to meet your particular requirements. Now what Twilio also has, it has a simulator. So let's take a look at the simulator here and what we might want to do is actually run through the programmed task that we have set up. So the first thing that somebody's going to do is maybe just say new appointment please and you can see the message starts and then our programmable task starts responding so I can say Andy and then what date would you like to come in I would like to come in today and then what time would you like the appointment and I will say five and as I'm typing this in, you can see on the right hand side, the actual task fields that have been populated with this information. 
So as I mentioned earlier, what we're going to do with this data is actually form a webhook uh, to feed this data into Bittrex. And then provide a mobile number and then you can see that that is the appointment booked. It's collected each one of the steps of information that I provided. It's populated, you can see on the right hand side in this simulator, the relevant fields. And now what we would want to do with that is pass it into Bittrex using an inbound webhook. With that information, we do need to manipulate it a little bit with regards to some custom script that we would create inside Bittrex. So this is an on-premise solution here. So we handle the data that is coming in via the Twilio messaging. And then what we want to do with that is, in this case, we will create a task inside our yoga class work group. And you can see here, Andy has booked yoga at 5 p.m. And you can see in here, we would have the mobile number that was provided on the messaging system. As I mentioned previously, not only can you create tasks, you can also create new leads, you can create deals, uh, and there are multiple areas in Bittrex where you can feed this information into from your Twilio messaging bot. We're going to look at how you can integrate Slack with Bittrex 24 using the Slack API and a Bittrex 24 inbound webhook. So to start off with, what you need to do is you need to log in to your Slack account. You need to then go to uh, api.slack.com and you need to configure your Slack application. So that's the first thing that you need to do. So once you configure that, you'll get everything that you need within your application. The second thing that you need to do is to create an outbound webhook for your Slack application. So I have the outbound webhook area opened up in another tab and I just need to simply click on add to Slack and then what this will do is it will give me the options to configure an outgoing webhook integration with our application. So once I've created the outbound integration, if I scroll down a little bit more, what I can do is further tailor the integration with our Slack account. So the integration settings are a little bit further down the page. And what I want to do is I want to trigger this outbound webhook from Slack on one of the channels that we have within our account. So if I click into here, I'll be able to access any of the accounts that we have in our Slack account. If I click on reviews, that is the channel that I want to trigger this on. Now I need to determine what words I would like to trigger this push of an outbound webhook going into Bittrex based on. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say KT review. This is all about a review channel within Slack. And what it's going to do is when these trigger words are added to this particular channel, it's going to push the information that we're going to configure in the Bittrex inbound webhook into Bittrex. And in our case, what it's going to do is it's going to create a task. So for this URL, what we need to do is we need to go into Bittrex and we need to configure an inbound webhook. So to do that in your Bittrex account, in the left-hand menu, click into developer resources, click into other, and then click into inbound webhook. Now I have this set up for this demonstration. So if once I click into here, you can see what we have is we have the unique webhook to call the REST API. So this is automatically generated when you create an inbound webhook. 
We then have the method of uh, creating a task. And then in here, we have some parameters that we want to set. So we want to set the task title. We want to set the task description. And we want to set the person who's responsible for this particular task. So monthly review task. Please review Katie's performance. And the user ID is going to be user ID 1. You can see once these have been added, it then forms our URL. I can then copy that URL and go back to our outgoing webhooks, paste this within here. And then what's going to happen is I can scroll down and click on save settings. And that's all we need to do to create an integration between Slack and Bitrix24. Once somebody types in KT review in the channel reviews, it's going to trigger this inbound webhook into Bitrix, create a task, and the individual who is user ID one will be able to work on that task within Bitrix. We're going to take a look at how we can integrate your WordPress site with Bitrix 24. You can easily download the WP Webhooks plugin from the plugin section within your WordPress system. This makes it very easy to integrate your WordPress site with Bitrix based on creating an inbound webhook in your Bitrix system and then applying that to the WP Webhooks extension. So what we first of all need to do is click into settings here and we need to determine what we want to trigger to send the information from your WordPress site into Bitrix24. Now, if we scroll down on here, you can see that currently we have the send data on register enabled. That will mean that anybody registering on our interface.com site will therefore pass that data, what we would like, to Bitrix. Now, again, we can post that as into Bitrix as a task, as a new lead, as a contact, uh, or as an instant messenger notification. That's what we'll be doing in this session. But there are a whole range of different options within this. If you are to upgrade this particular plugin, uh, a few further options do become available. So in this instance, what we're going to do, as I mentioned, is send the data on registration to Bitrix24. So I've enabled that, and once you've enabled it, then we can just click on send data. And then because we've enabled it, you can see here it does appear. So if we click and open that one up, we can give it a new name, so go notify new register. So we can label this particular webhook. And if you click on outgoing values, you can see here all of the different options that you could post into Bitrix24. So we've got everything from the user credentials through to every level that they may have in terms of their permissions inside WordPress. But this information here, especially name, especially email, if you are going to create a contact in Bitrix, then that is what you're going to need to use to pass through your inbound webhook. So what we're going to, what we're going to do now is go into Bitrix and click onto our developer resources here. And then we'll click on other and then we'll click on inbound webhook. Now, again, the webhook will automatically be created. But what we want to do is we want to customize what we're going to send into Bitrix. So I'm going to click on im.notify.personalAd. So that's going to add a user notification. And then what we want to do is add some parameters to this. Now, Bitrix does have a resource of REST API actions 
If you click on method description, it will open up the Bittrex page and you can see in this case, im.notify, we can send to, so who are we sending a message to? And that's gonna be the user ID. Uh, what message are we going to send into the instant message? And finally, is it a system notification or is it a user notification? So if I go back into my webhook, I'm gonna add these three parameters now. So if I click on here, and I want to send the two. If I click on here, I want to send the message. And finally, if I click on here, I want to send if what type of notification it is. So two is gonna be the ID of the user. So if I put ID one, and then the message, I can put new registration on interface.com. And then finally, it's going to be a user. So what we would need to do here is click here, select copy, click on save, and then what we will do in Bitrix, sorry, in WordPress is click into here, click add, and then that will add our webhook inside WordPress. So every time a new notification, every time a new registration happens, a new notification will then appear to user ID one with a notification saying that there has been a new registration. So that's how easy it is to connect up your WordPress site with Bitrix 24.